Intro, Marie Askett, Exploring Silently. Let's go outside. Click on the subtitles box for commentary in your language. Winchester Hampshire Mourns Queen Elizabeth by Marie Askett. The cathedral city of Winchester was established in Roman times as Venta Belgarum. Its heyday was Georgian times when the Grand Hotel now a Barclays Bank was built. Peninsula Square was built in the early 20th century in Georgian style. The barracks became the depot of the King's Royal Rifle Corps and the Rifle Brigade in 1858 but closed in 1985. All that remains is the Winchester's military museums including Royal Green Jackets, Rifles, Museum. The barracks do still house the regimental headquarters of the Rifles, and the southern regimental headquarters of the King's Royal Hussars. The rest is now exclusive private flats. The Royal Hampshire Regiment Museum is just down the hill. Southgate St. Winchester with St. Thomas Church soon to be converted into flats. The United Church Winchester Jewry Street Jews lived in this street for hundreds of years with a nearby synagogue. St. Peter's Catholic Church, yet another denomination in this street. St. Clement's Street sued to have a church called St. Clement's that was ransacked by Cromwell's guards in the Civil War. Mason's Yard was an 18th century stable yard. The Black Boy Inn celebrates King's Charles II who had darker skin. The Puritan Oliver Cromwell closed all the pubs in England. When Charles returned to the throne they reopened. Licorisha was a Jewish businesswoman who lived in the 13th century. In 1275 Edward I issued the anti-Jewish statue and she was held in Tower of London forced to pay a fine to be released. Despite this her son keeper of the Queen's gold, however both were murdered in, in a pogrom in 1277. Warren and Sons stationers since 1835. The Hampshire Hog Statute celebrates the county's history of having wild boar. Followed by Horse and Rider by Elizabeth Fink. This channel was created by the Romans in 70 AD to defend the town and to ease flooding. Wharf Mill, Seagram's Mill, built in 1885 but totally rebuilt in the 1970s. It straddles the river Itchen over three arches fed by weirs. It makes a lovely walk and traces of the Roman city wall can still be seen. There was an MG Owners Club meeting in Winchester when I visited. Plus a few other makes tagged along, including this BMW a set of bubble car made from 1955 to 1961. This beautiful red MG. This rally. Rallying MG. A Triumph. An Aston Martin. An MG. NMG, a Lancia. Novelist Jane Austen's rented house where she died 1817. P.G. Wells Bookshop opens in 1729, it still has some of the original wallpaper visible. It served the nearby Winchester College. Winchester College is a private school that has been open since 1382. It is one of the most prestigious in the world. It is finally becoming co-educational having been a boys' school for all the time. The school has taught many famous people called Old Wickhamists. Prime Ministers Henry Addington and Rishi Sunak attended, other politicians being Robert Lowe, Stafford Cripps, Hugh Gateskill and Geoffrey Howe. Indian Viceroys Archibald Wavell and Frederick Thesiger, Archbishop Henry Chichely, Commanders Hugh Dowding and Charles Portal, Filmmaker Joss Whedon, Thrust SSC Designer Richard Noble, Comedian Tim Brooke Taylor, BBC Director Alistair Milne. The building was designed by William Winford. The chapel was designed by Hugh Herland, Carpenter to Richard II and has a fan vaulted ceiling. Unfortunately I could not get access to see this and its stained glass. Including the east window depicting the tree of Jesse.
The school motto is manners maketh the man. The school had an open day and a science lesson by the wonderful and eccentric Master Jeremy Douglas. Some of the original historic equipment is still used in lessons, including this primitive radio receiver, a spark gap generator. Yeah. Winchester Castle built 1067 was destroyed by Oliver Cromwell in 1649 leaving only the Great Hall. Beside the hall is Queen Eleanor's garden typical of a 14th century garden including plants. Today is is guarded by the Hares of Hampshire who were sold in a charity auction. These steel gates were made for the marriage of King Charles III, then Prince of Wales, to Lady Diana Spencer in 1981. Surrounding them is the family tree of all the sheriffs of Hampshire. The armorial windows were produced in 1874 by John Hartman and Company, who had produced the stained glass windows for the Houses of Parliament. Henry III, who was born at Winchester Castle and built the hall in 1222. King Edward IV was also born at the castle. It ceased being a royal residence in 1558. The Winchester Round Table dates from 1275 many years after Arthur was supposed to have lived. It depicts King Arthur and his knights. Just like Arthurian legend, Sir Galahad, Sir Lancelot, Sir Gawain, Sir Percival etc. It was repainted by Henry VIII so that King Arthur looks like the young king. In the center is a white Tudor rose. Behind are still the holes where the legs would have been. Round tables were used as part of jousting tournaments. 1330, Edmund of Woodstock, 1st Earl of Kent was beheaded outside after plotting against King Edward III. The hall was used in an assizes court taking part in the bloody assizes. In 1603 Sir Walter Raleigh went on trial for treason for his supposed part in the main plot. This bronze statue of Queen Victoria is by Sir Alfred Gilbert 1878. A copy from the same mould is in Newcastle and the British Embassy in Bangkok. The hall was used in an assizes court until 1974. We can still see the judge's chair here. In 1953 the Lord Montagu of Bewley went on trial here. Here is a bronze sculpture medallion dedicated to Queen Elizabeth II for the Diamond Jubilee in 2012. The Wolsey Castle or the Old Bishop's Palace was built in the 12th century by Bishop Henry of Boys. It was built on top of a place for Bishop Ethelwold of Winchester around 970. It was constructed after the Siege of Winchester in 1141 during the Anarchy. The Anarchy was a civil war between England and Normandy, that was part of England at the time. Empress Matilda was the daughter of King Henry I but lived in German and supported Normandy. However Stephen of Blois seized the throne upon his death with the help of Stephen's brother Henry of Blois, Bishop of Winchester. Empress Matilda's troops attacked Winchester burning much of it to the ground. Stephen of Blois was trapped in the palace for three weeks until his wife, also a Matilda, got reinforcements from London. King Stephen becoming king reigning until Henry II. Queen Mary and Philip II of Spain had their wedding breakfast here in 1554. A Baroque palace was built for George Morley in 1684 but was demolished in 1786. Part of the site is still the bishop's residence after refurbishment in 1926. The city walls can be seen here next to the castle and some of the gatehouses survive. The west gate dates from Anglo-Saxon times with upgrades in the 12th, 13th and 14th centuries. It was still in use until 1954. It is like a little fort built for securing the city. Inverted keyholes gun ports for hand-held cannon. Next to the widows is ancient graffiti from board prisoners as the gatehouse was used as a goal and debtor's prison. The gate overlooks the oldest high street in England.
these gibbeting irons hanging from the ceiling. They were used to display the hanged body Jack the Painter, a traitor who blew up Portsmouth docks during the American War of Independence. The gatehouse has a collection of pre-imperial weights and measures. It has a painted ceiling made for Winchester College for Mary Tudor and Philip of Spain marriage in Winchester in 1554. This video was shot in the week following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Hence the flags are at half-mast. The first flag is over Winchester City Council building. The second flag is on the roof of the West Gate itself. The Cathedral's Second Hand Bookshop. The King's Gate dates from at least 1148 and was the entrance to the Royal Palace until the Cathedral Close was enclosed. It adjoins St. Withan's Church. St. Withan's Church was renamed St. Cuthbert's in Anthony Trollope's novel The Warden. Prior's Gate can also be briefly seen here. The Pilgrim School home of the Winchester Cathedral Choir in operation from at least 1402. The King's Royal Rifle Corps War Memorial, Winchester. I came across the armed forces practicing their marching for the Queen Elizabeth II memorial service at Winchester Cathedral minutes later. The sergeant was sorted him out. Let's listen. A special memorial service was held there at 4 p.m. that day with tight security. The memorial flowers for Queen Elizabeth II. The cathedral was built in the perpendicular Gothic style between 1079 to 1532. It's one of the largest in Northern Europe. It is also one of the longest in Europe. I was built upon older church called the Old Minster built 648 by the King Senwell of Wessex. And another called the New Minster by Alfred the Great. The current cathedral began construction after the Norman invasion. The fan vaulted ceiling completed in 1420 after replacing an earlier wooden structure. The choir screen was created by Inigo Jones in 1638-39. The Great West Window is now a mosaic of the broken pieces broken by Oliver Cromwell's troops in the English Civil War. Winchester Cathedral also holds the Winchester Bible, the best preserved 12th century Bible in England. You may have seen it in the movies, The Da Vinci Code, Les Michebles, Wolf Hall, Elizabeth, The Golden Age, The Real Jane Austen and The Crown.
Edward the Confessor was crowned here on the 8th of June 1042 at the The Old Minster. The cathedral has the mortuary chests of Alfred the Great, King Canute and his wife Queen Emma, William Rufus and King Egbert. Famous burials are Isaac Walton, Jane Austen, Kings Edred, Edwig, William II, Rufus, of England, King Cnut of Denmark and Norway, King Seingils, Senwell, Egbert Ethelwolf of Wessex along with numerous bishops of Winchester. Edward the Elder and Alfred the Great were buried here but moved to Hyde Abbey. Today we have the Book of Remembrance for Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II, the 21st of April 1926 to the 8th of September 2022. Marie Asquette 2022. Like and subscribe.